Well, look at this, two balls only a few inches away from each other, but in totally different lies. Here I am on a tight lie on the fairway, and here's a fluffy lie in the first cut of the, of the rough there, the semi. Now, why is that important? Well, it tells me what I can do and what I can't do. From a lie like this, the ball sat down quite close to the, to the earth because of the, the tightness of the fairway cut. And with this lie, the ball's sitting up almost like on a tee peg because there's a lot more air with the fluffier semi-rough. Now, here's something you need to understand. When the ball comes down from a, a fluffy lie, it's like landing in a bowl of porridge, a ball bearing landing in a bowl of porridge. That's the effect. It's not pure backspin. It's settling down on the green because of the loft it's coming in from. This ball's going to be swept up into the air and land softly because of that fact. Let me show you. Now, a different type of shot's required here because it's not so easy for me to get the club into the back of the ball. For this shot, I can use spin to control the ball, pure backspin. It's more difficult because I have to make sure that I, I set my hands forward and I use more of a chopping action, a bit like a table, ten table tennis player making that movement on the ball. It's a, it's a backspin, whether it's a table tennis, real tennis, lawn tennis or golf, you've got the same thought in your mind. So here I am here, I'm setting myself forward. I'm going to try and pinch the ball down into the turf and use spin to control the ball. As an experienced golfer, I know about these lies. I want you to understand the principles and go out on the golf course and benefit from my experiences and build up your own feelings for how well you can control backspin or pure loft on the shot.